I'm Richie Mathers, I'm an 11th grader, and I decided to become a Yes Leaders to teach kids about drugs and alcohol and the effects of them. I'm in my third year. My name is Selena Shader, I'm in 12th grade, and I do Yes Leads because I think it's a really good message and I like it a lot. I've been in Yes Leads for three years now. I'm Lauren Pawlowski, I'm 12th grade, I'm a senior, and I did Yes Leads because I feel like it's a really good way to teach kids you know, how to cope with peer pressure and the dangers of drugs and alcohol that they'll face when they're older. My favorite part has been just meeting all the little kids. Like I think it's really fun to go into each classroom and be able to do fun activities with them. And I like how we all get together as a school and groups. Like I hang out with people now that I didn't before, and that's nice too. Well, this is my first year in Yes Leads, and definitely my favorite part is just kind of getting a reaction from the kids when we, you know, kind of inform them of what's going on, what will happen, and how much they actually know already at such a young age. My favorite part would be presenting to the kids and like seeing their reactions about what the drugs can do to them and like the alcohol and just to see how they like take it all in. Today we did the sunglasses one where we put Vaseline over their glasses and had them juggle balloons and then you know kind of like that lets them know the perception how it is when they're drunk or under the influence. <laughs> Don't vote <about> yourselves. <laughs> Portray if they were drunk, what they would, um, their vision would be like under the influence of alcohol. We also did a Skittles one where they had to get in sm bigger and bigger groups to represent peer pressure. We did, um, what was it, um, Marshmallow Mouse where we gave them a marshmallow to put in their mouth to see, like, to give them like, a perception of what actually happens when you do drugs or alcohol. Put it in there. <laughs> okay, so I want you all to say it again just like you did. Drugs or alcohol. That's kind of what it's like when you're under the influence of alcohol again, like, you can't see right, you can't talk right, you, you can't function right, you can't walk right, anything. It's just, uh, your body isn't in control of itself, and you might even think you're sounding perfectly normal when you're drunk, but you're, you're not. And Definitely the most important message is to just make good decisions, know the dangers of what's going to happen, and, you know, have them make good decisions, hopefully, to just help them get through the situations. Just not to fall to peer pressure because it does happen in life, especially in the lower grades. So just not to fall for it. I think the biggest one is the peer pressuring one and how to get out of it because um, peer pressuring will kind of cover everything. It'll cover the drugs and the alcohol and all those other different things if they can just figure out how to make good decisions. Don't fall for other people's jokes and like don't fall for the peer pressure of drugs and alcohol. It's really not worth it. The most important message would probably be just to make solid decisions and stick to your guns with every moral that you have and don't allow other people to influence you. It would definitely be, you know, to steer clear of things like that and to know how to handle peer pressure and to hang out with people that they know will be a good influence on them and that they can have a good time without anything like drugs or alcohol or smoking or anything like that.